Hello everyone, this is Wanyan Park. Um, in this video, I would like to show how to calculate buckling uh, critical load and buckling, uh, buckling shape. So SOLIDWORKS simulation uh, allows you to calculate those kind of um, buckling shape and buckling critical load uh, easily. Um, here I have a model which is the flexor two plane plates uh, which is connected in between two blocks. So let's go to new study here and now we can use buckling option in uh, study option. So here third one this is buckling so click OK. Now uh, the, all the same procedure uh, the first one we apply the material properties as uh, let's see aluminum and aluminum 6061 usually apply this and you can see the green thick mark and fixture I just uh, fixed at, at the bottom so this bottom I just uh, simple the fixed uh, boundary condition so my load gonna be uh, the, the unit force along the vertical direction so my target surface is this and then it will be just one unity uh, Newton so to please make sure the direction so we're gonna see the buckling shape and buckling critical load along this uh, uh, direction so just click OK so now ready to mesh the create mesh and I just leave the default uh, the size of mesh so click this and it generates uh, this kind of mesh, the tetrahedral mesh. So and just run it. Now it calculates the buckling things. So you can see um, now this is the buckling shape when I applied one unity on Newton and then go to here you can see uh, the mode shape one and then load factor is uh, uh, almost 6,000 Newton. So, well, buckling, uh, buckling load, you can calculate this uh, the formulation. So buckling load, or load equals to the apply load uh, times to a uh, buckling load factor. So we applied one Newton and here, the, the factor is 6,000, uh, 6, so it's about 6,000 Newton for uh, mode shape, the cor corresponding mode shape, the critical mode shape. Okay, so this is the buckling analysis, so uh, that's it, simple. Okay, bye-bye.